yeah so in this video i'm going to teach you how to add another changeover switch to the existing changeover switch so this is this changeover switch that i'm going to be adding will be able will be there to control the inverter of the um the newly installed inverter so here when you get to a house where you want to do an installation there is high tendencies that you are going to meet a changeover like this and a distribution board this is just a picture this is just a video illustration but inside the distribution board this is what we come from it there's going to be a load cable there's going to be a grid electricity cable and there's going to be another cable to control the generator so that is why we are adding another changeover switch to control the inverter so as you watch this video as you watch this video please like subscribe and share as we continue with the video uh, so another thing you need to also consider is the fact that you are going to be charging the inverter there is there is an ac plug that came with the inverter so we are going to mount this here right now and also we are going to be mounting the new changeover <clears throat> the new changeover that we are going to be introducing will also be mounted so let's do let's do that quickly so i'm also going to set up a solar a i'm, I'm also going to set up an inverter here just now so i will just since you have the video of since you know how to set it up or if you don't have the video please you can do well to go and watch my previous videos on this link so i will set it up now and i will start the connection as soon as possible yeah so i've done the setup and these are the two things this is a 12 volts um 1 kva inverter and these are the two things you are going to find behind it you see a plug this plug is meant to charge the battery through the inverter with the grid electricity or with the, the generator and there is another ac output at the back of the inverter that is it you see the output is an ac output so i'm going to be showing you the process of connecting those two things with the changeover we are going to be adding yeah so the changeover is here and now the charging socket has also been installed this is the socket we are going to be using and let's start connecting the cable so the first thing you will do is to bring this load cable to the inverter changeover switch so let's let me do that now yeah so now the load cable has been transferred from the grid changeover switch the one you met in the apartment to the changeover switch we installed for the inverter so we, rem we i removed this here uh the load cable that is here i brought it here and i was sure that my polarities were correct so as you can see this is the b which is meant for the negative cable and this is a which is meant for the positive for positive cable so the next thing we are going to do now is to provide a charging point for the 13 amps plug that came with the inverter there you go so the socket that we charge the battery via the inverter has been installed so you can now plug this one here and this is the cable this is where you are going to connect it to so this is the socket that we charge the inverter the cable will come to this top part of the newly installed changeover switch taking into consideration the polarities the negative here and the positive here so the next thing we are now going to connect now is the cable that we supply the inverter the cable that we supply the that will come from the inverter ac ac output to the charge controller which is going to come to this place so 
let me just let me do that and continue the video yeah so here i have connected the cable taking into consideration the the, the red side is going to the fuse and the black side is going to the neutral so here it is yeah so here is it the plug this is a 13 amps plug and it has been covered and the next thing is to fix it to where it's supposed to be so here is it here is the connection cable so the peeled side will come to this the down of the changeover while the plug will come to the back of the inverter so let me just do that and continue the video yeah so now the connection have been done so this is it here the plug that we supply the current from the inverter to the house so we can now plug this one to this place to the ac output of the inverter which has been done and this one is coming here so we have done about three connections now this is the inverter output this is the ac socket that is going to charge the battery through the inverter and uh, this is the load cable it has also it has also been connected to this outlet so we can see now that the changeover switch of the inverter is standing independently against the changeover that we met in the house. So the next thing now is to loop the AC output, AC input that we charge the inverter to this AC input, we loop it to this socket that has been existing from time. So here we have the grid electricity. Don't forget here we have the generator. Now we have the load here. We have the charging point here. And we have the inverter AC output here. Yeah, so here is my daughter, the upcoming engineer. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Yeah, so as we continue this video, please subscribe, like, and share. You can also watch my previous videos on the YouTube channel. Thank you. Yeah, so now I have looped the charging cable here. The charging cable here. I have looped it now to the existing changeover switch I met in the house now let me take time to explain now that I'm done okay this is the generator don't forget this is the grid electricity it is called NEPA in Nigeria this is the inverter do you get it so now if you want to supply the house inverter electricity so all you need to do is bring this down all right let me get a bulb for this place don't forget this is our load so this load here now this is what i have brought to this place but this is supposed to go to the distribution board actually so the distribution board will now be the the board to supply the whole house the electricity so this is our load and that is why i brought a bulb here so let's do some testing yeah so now everything has been connected just like I said, this is the inverter. I have brought it here. This is NEPA. It can remain here. Then, this is the load now. So, oh yeah, Amanda, on the inverter. On the inverter. Inverter here now. Come on, on it here. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, press it. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, off it. Off it. Oh yeah, on it again. You see, we are off it. Yeah, so that is it. Now Daddy. that we have seen Daddy. that this is the Daddy. inverter. Daddy. Yes, yes, you own it. You have, you've, you've been able to assist us. Thank you. So now that we have seen that this is the inverter. So this is the changeover switch for inverter now. So if you want to, you don't want to, now. 
let's assume the light has been restored we want to switch over to electricity all we need to do is that we just bring this one up once we bring this this up now can you see that the cable here run directly from the uh inverter changeover switch to the existing changeover switch which we automatically switch the inverter away from the inverter it will now take it to electricity so now what we are using now is the electricity light that has been installed so this one is standing idle presently and at the same time you can see that the cable coming from uh the off-grid electricity has come here and this is where the changeover this is where the socket for the inverter is and it will charge the battery through the inverter can you see so now let's take for instance there is no of grid electricity there is no grid electricity rather let's take for instance there is no grid electricity so you want to use the generating set all you need to do is switch on your generator and bring this down to the generator so you can see and if you probably have this down here that means your inverter is going to work like ups so you can switch this one on and your inverter can always work as a ups so if for instance you are using the inverter and it brought the electricity all you need to do is change this one this one will definitely will permanently be here so even if uh even if you are using your inverter and the brought electricity there is no problem because it won't interfere with the inverter the inverter will just the electricity will just come down from the grid electricity down to your charging ports then it will supply it will run directly to supply the house so the house we serve the inverter in this case we serve as a, a non-interrupted power supply so when you now want to interrupt it you want to switch independently to grid electricity that is when you can now move this to the grid electricity directly i hope you understand my video thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share so i can be encouraged to do more videos thank you